Hello, my name is Rogelio Delgado, and I am here today to explain to you, as well as show you, the phenomena we call Doppler effect. First, the explanation. As we learned in class, sound travels along an elastic medium from a source and then is received in our ears. In 99% of the cases, on a daily basis, the medium that the sound waves travel along is the air around us. In this medium, sound travels around 1,264 kilometers per hour, which is also around 786 miles per hour. Now, if a sound is stationary, the rate at which the sound waves will be getting to you will be the same as the figures above, but if the object is moving, then, the cha then that changes a bit. When the object emitting sound is moving towards you, the rate at which your ears pick up the sound increases, which will actually make the incoming sound seem like it is increasing in loudness and in pitch. When the object is moving away from you, the rate at which your ears pick up the sound decreases, which makes it l seem like the noise is decreasing in loudness and in pitch, when in actuality it is staying the same. Before I explain the experiment for today, consider this analogy. Imagine that a tennis ball shooter is shooting tennis balls into a net at a set distance. Every time a ball goes into the net, five seconds elapse. But now take that same tennis ball shooter and set it in motion towards the net. The net will receive the balls more frequently because the balls will be less spaced out. The opposite is also true if the tennis ball shooter is moving away from the net. So in sound, it is actually the wavelength which is affected, and as a consequence, the received frequency is also affected, which means in this analogy, the frequency of which the tennis ball shooter emits the tennis balls never actually changes, nor does the ball's velocity add to the tennis shooter. Instead, it is actually the frequency that the net receives the balls that changes. My experiment will be similar to this analogy. I will be driving a car, with the, with, uh, I will be driving a car while sounding the horn. The speed of which the sound of the horn travels will always be consistent. The frequency of which you receive the sound, however, will change. My assistant will be holding the camera for you, uh, will be holding the camera, and you will be observing the difference in sound as I approach and as I drive away. Notice that the sound appears to be getting louder and higher in pitch as I drive closer to the camera, and softer in sound and lower in pitch as I drive away from the camera. Here we go. If the experiment was conducted correctly, you should have noticed the difference in sound as I approach and as I drive away. Also, something to take note of is that the cam if the camera were in the car and my assistant were beeping a horn, the same result would take place. But since I do not have a mobile horn, I guess we'll have to settle for just one experiment today. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed this lesson for the day. Thank you.